Right. In this tutorial, we're going to recreate the, the look of this text on the left where it has a kind of gradual solid line gradation inside of the, the letters with an offset shadow uh, to, the, to the letters. Uh, to do this we're going to be using the block shadow tool to get this offset shadow effect and then the blend tool to get our uh, line uh, gradation our solid line gradation so first thing you want to do is pick a font you like and type out any word you like and we'll start there so once you have that done we are going to add start by adding our offset shadow with the block shadow tool so over on the left here in the kind of near the bottom uh, is the block shadow tool in this pullout menu and we'll just add it but first by just playing with our our depth setting here uh, I'm leaving mine at at a negative 45 degree angle and then right now as you can see it's just a solid uh, shadow uh, on the, the, the letters themselves to get the this offset look we need to do two things we need to expand the the shadow basically giving it an outline so we'll bump that up and just you're gonna play with the settings to get kind of the thickness you want now to get this cut out offset look we want to tick this simplify button here and it basically trims out that uh, added outline from the by expanding it so now so now once you have it offset like this now you can play with your settings to get the type of thickness you want for the the the, the depth or distance of the offset and then you can play with the thickness of your offset shadow um, I'm going to leave it right about there because I, I like the the thickness of it and the the distance from the the letters themselves. Once you have all of that set, you can just hit Control K on your keyboard to separate the shadow from the font itself. So then if you go back to your pick tool it's now two separate objects you have your font still intact and the offset shadow is its own separate object uh, once you have that done um, we're going to add a this brown color that I have here um, to the, the shadow itself I'm just going to right click and drag over to fill the the shadow with that brownish color. Once that's done, we need to create our our solid line gradation. And to do that, we're going to take these two rectangular bars and blend them together to get a uh, gradual blend between the two shapes so still inside that same pull up menu where the block shadow tool is we want to select the blend tool and just click on one of them and drag until it snaps to the other object and then it defaults to 20 steps between you can adjust this to however many steps you want you can add more or less and if you want to kind of change the, the blend to be a 
bit more steep, you can take one of the objects or one of the, the first two bars and adjust the thickness of it and you'll get kind of a either a quicker gradation or more shallow gradation. Um, I'm going to go with about about that. Now, uh, by default again, the blend tool, you get a kind of reverse gradation in the or size in the negative space between each of these bars. You can keep that if you like it, or we can hit after we duplicate the object, the, the blend here, hit Control K on your keyboard to separate them, and then ungroup the the blended uh, shapes here. Select them all, and in the align and distribute. Uh, Docker here. We can distribute each of these objects evenly by hitting this bottom right button here to distribute space vertically. And so you get an even space in between each bar. So it's really which look you prefer. I think on the example here I have an even spacing between each one so again it's up to you and the look you're going for but I want an even spacing so I'm going to select the the one at the bars on the right here and I'm going to combine them by using the, the pathfinder tool here up at the top and just combine them into one single shape. Now I'm going to drag it over to my letters and expand it all the way across. Now there's two ways you can accomplish this look. Um, one is to power clip the uh, gradated uh, bars here into the letters. Um, but for the purposes of this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to select the font and then select your striped bars here. And again, up in the, the Pathfinder tools here, we want to use this intersect uh, button here. And what it will do is just basically trim out a copy of the letters that intersect with that the that long combined bar shape. Um, uh, now the last step is um, you can kind of because when you do the intersect tool or intersect option you can kind of see like a, a hint of a kind of lighter edge behind the these bars on top and so to avoid that we're just going to add a stroke to the the font itself and I'll just add uh, any random color by right clicking on the, any of the colors over here on the left and then I'm going to hit F12 on my keyboard to bring up the outline properties window and I'm just going to change the width to 0 0.05 and I'm going to leave the corners and line caps on these middle two options to be rounded and so we'll get a very thick kind of stroke around the, the edge of the font and then the last thing you want to do is bring this copy of this up here and we want to add this color to the stroke just so that 
it matches the the striped gradation objects. Uh, once you have that done, you have your retro text effect that you can modify on any word or object you like. Um, pretty simple, but a cool look. And yeah, you can do many things with it. Um, yeah. So, if uh, you found this tutorial helpful, like, subscribe, and share. And if you want to see more kind of font and text effect tutorials like this, comment below and let me know kind of what you're looking for, and uh, I can work on creating videos for it. Thank you.